going to spread out in the aisle and all those going to exercise their constitutional rights are going to come through. We want the clergy to bless them and we have a stack of all the bad legislation and in the spirit of my Jewish brothers and sisters where the scripture tells us whatever we walk on we control, we're going to lay them down and we're going to walk across them. And listen, I want you to say we're not going to stop them, we don't have to do that. We're going to walk across it as a sign that we are leaving those things that people want to take us back on and we're going forward. Because this is very, very, very spiritual and moral moment. In fact, it's a time that even many in this state should be crying to see the level of meanness and anger and hateful legislation. But we will not be deterred. So grab somebody by the hand. Let's form community. Let's form community. But it should be sad and disturbing that in 2013, we have a governor named McCory and other leaders and a party who are on the one hand using the same language of George Wallace in his criticism of Moral Monday. The line that, that we are outside agitators is almost an I identical historical plagiarism of George Wallace from 1963. Let me pause here for a second and say, everybody that's from North Carolina, raise your hand. But you know what? It doesn't really matter if we're from North Carolina because when you stand against what's immoral, there is no boundary on state line. But make it mistake, make no mistake, I said at the church, we are outsiders. We are outside of the intoxication of Pope's influence. We are outside the, the influence of the Koch brothers. We are outside the influence of the Tea Party. And we are here because of what's inside our heart. Inside our hearts, we love everybody. Inside our hearts, we love teachers and we love children, and we love the sick, and we love the unemployed. And the reason we ain't going nowhere is because there's something down on the inside. We don't need politicians who deflect legitimate criticism by engaging in historical plagiarism and reaching back to the 60s and picking up the language of white supremacy. We don't need politicians who call citizens engaged in a moral movement, morons. And they pick up, and that's the language of Henry Goddard. Goddard, who was a eugenist. Eugenist came, he came up with the term morons and feeble-minded because he believed that morons and feeble-minded were a threat to America. They were unfit to participate in, de in democracy. Well, in, in the words of my grandmama, we're not morons, we clothed in our right mind. Yeah. We got good sense. Yeah. And we intend to fight as a moral movement. That's right. We don't need to go back in time. Right. We need to go forward together. Yeah. 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 And so we protest. And so we exercise our constitutional right and our moral calling. We can't walk away. Tell your neighbor, we can't walk away. History will judge us if we do. Too many poor people will be hurt if we do. Too many sick will die if we do. Too many children will be hurt if we do. And they might have the votes, but we have our voices. And we have our bodies. And with our voices, we will cry loud until every ear has been open in this state and this nation to what is going on. They might, they might have votes for a season, but those who supported slavery had votes for a season. Jim Crow had votes for a season. Those that denied women the right to vote had votes for a season. But keep reading history. Politics change. Votes change. Attitudes change. Seasons change. When people stand up, history can change. When the people 
what the people in the General Assembly and the pundits and the critics don't understand is that we are not discouraged by season. We're in a moral movement. We are long distance runners and not sprinters. We're not just marching and protesting for right now, but we're marching and protesting for next year. We are sowing a seed of resistance that will come up in communities all over this state and all over this nation. We understand that there are some seasons and there are some things that are mean, but in the meanwhile, we don't give up to the mean. We don't give in to the mean because our eye is on the prize of justice. And though defeated for a season, justice will always be resurrected. And I'm telling you, I'm telling every one of you here to go tell another hundred people, if we stand our ground, there's a change coming. If we stand on our constitution, there's a change coming. If we stand on the word of God, there's a change coming. When you fight for the poor, there's a change coming. When you fight for the sick, there's a change coming. When you fight for the weak, when you fight for children, when you fight for the least of these, don't we don't fight alone. There's a change. God is on our side. There's a change. Angels have our back. There's a change. Right is on our side. There's a change. Justice will roll down like water. There's a change. Hearts will be changed. Men who think they have all the power. There's a change coming. Evil can be defeated. There's a change coming. Pharaoh doesn't rule forever. There's a change. Goliath can't stand forever. There's a change. Wrong doesn't last forever. The Lord is our light and our salvation. There is a change coming.